So continuing my playthrough of King's Quest 7. As I started, we switched, I'm in part two, switched from Valenice to Rosella. just looking into this pool and, and then I saw this baloney little girl you're trying to steal the throne of the underground usurper usurper <laughs> Why, you're no usurper. You poor little thing. Don't cry. I didn't mean to be cross. It's just that King Otar has been so strange lately, and that a horrible woman has been snooping around. I'm not crying. Of course you're not, dear. Now you listen to me. I can help you turn back into a human. You can? Are you an enchantress? Well, not exactly. I am Matilda, and I used to be King Otar's nursemaid when he was just a wee troll. Anyway, I can give you a list of ingredients for a magic potion that will turn you back into a human just like that. But you have to do something for me. Anything! Up above this kingdom is a dark land called Ooga Booga. Our kingdoms were never crazy about each other, but we had a civil relationship. Now, because of her, the Ooga Boogaites attack any troll that shows a face above ground. Missy, once you're human, you will go above and investigate. I have a gut feeling that our kingdom is in terrible trouble. Of course I will, Matilda. Wonderful! Now listen, girl, bring me some baked beetles, a crystal dragon scale, water of emerald, a silver spoon, and a gold bow. Got it? Got it. Uh, what were those things again? Stupid old toy rat! This is not what I wanted! I wanted a battle axe! Time for lunch! Don't forget your new toy! Dumb, stupid rat! Matilda, what was that list of ingredients again? Baked beetles, a crystal dragon scale, a gold bowl, water of emerald, and a silver spoon. Got it? Yes, ma'am. Baked beetles, silver spoon, gold bowl, and a crystal dragon scale, I think.
The mix of vocals and music wasn't all that great in that last cutscene. Yeah, troll soup. Mr. Troll, may I talk to you? <laughs> Excuse me, sir? Revolting beast. Jeez, oh God, you nearly got yourself fried. Oh, I'm not scared of that nasty wench. I could break her in half like a carrot. Well, that's good, cause she's right behind you. <laughs> that was that funny, Voltar. Pardon me, sirs, but who was that tall, imposing woman? Uh, her name is Malicia, and uh, to tell you the truth, lady, uh, no one really knows who she is. I know who she is. She's a fiend, that's who. Shut your mouth, Hogarth. You don't know nothing. Some trolls say Malicia is an evil fairy cast out of Etheria up there in the clouds. All I know is she never used to hang around here, and now she does all the time. We'd like to tell you more, pretty lady, but we better not. Is there anything more you could tell me about Malicia? Uh, no, lady, uh, sorry. No, no way. Is there anything more you could tell me about Malicia? Uh, no, no. Some nasty water. Wow, you could melt rocks in there. Pardon me, sir, but I was wondering. Well, wonder no longer, sweet potato. I am the troll of your dreams. Uh, now, see here, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm engaged to the king. That's right, the king. Oh, well, I respect King Ota. You, you can bet on that. Uh, I'm sorry, my little rutabaga, but our love is not to be. You let me know if he dumps you, okay? Excuse me. I didn't mean to startle you, sir. I am Rosella of Daventry.
Oh, that's all right. I don't mind being interrupted by someone as charming as yourself. What can I do for you? Why, you're the most polite troll I've ever met. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean to... Don't apologize, my dear. I quite understand. I can't tolerate the company of most other trolls myself. Oppy Goldsworth, Master Jeweler, at your service. You don't like other trolls? You must be so lonely, Oppy. Oh, I am, Rosella. To tell you the truth, I'd do anything to leave this place. I'd love to go out and make my way in the world. Maybe I'd even become the court jeweler of Etheria. Why don't you? I don't have the money. All I have to my name is this old chipped hammer and chisel. Pardon me, my dear, but I really must finish this project. I should let the poor guy work. He's so jumpy. Smells like rotten eggs in here. Ugh, what's this? Green water? Sulfur. You could melt rocks in there. No, I might need that. No, I might need that. Oh, darn. I let it get too cold. Okay, a little weird. Don't know why she's walking in circles to interact with this. Or even if my interaction is correct, honestly.
What's that? That little goil is a mold for casting thing. I poured hot silver in there, see? And when it cools, I have a spoon. of frog lips, a dash of mouth noses, a sprinkling of spider legs. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean any. Ow, ow, out of my kitchen, you dreadful peasant! going on? Who's there? A juicy tender rat. Just what I need for my stew. Come here, you little tidbit. They could cook a moose in there. <laughs> enough to give a person nightmares. I'm not letting him out. No way. I already have 
have some of those. I guess I don't need any more right now. So I thought I saw another bowl. If that one's brass, is that a gold? No, oh, probably I'm gonna have to melt gold and I already have a brass bowl. I guess I forgot that part. I'll be right back. That doesn't look too stable. Suppose you take this as a tool? No. I don't suppose you take this as a tool? No. I don't suppose you take this as a tool? No. I don't suppose you take this as a tool? No. I don't suppose you take this as a tool? No. I don't suppose you take this as a tool? No. Just make sure that shield doesn't go anywhere. There.
I don't know if that was very neighborly. jewels in all of Daventry. Most kind. Once that would have made me smile. Now I know I will never be happy again. What has made you so sad? I have lost my will to live. I have lost my spark. What did you mean when you said you'd lost your will to live? Why? I meant just what I said. I have lost my spark. My world has grown cold. Leave me to my sorrow, little troll. happen to be the kind of spark you meant, does it? A spark! Bless you, little troll! Here, let me have it! I am indebted to you! Here, take this diamond. With it, you can live like a princess. Thank you. It's, it's beautiful, but what I'd really like is... one of your scales? Yes, yes, little one, whatever you want. But I can wait no longer to fly. I will give you a scale when I return. Dead 
doesn't look too stable. Matilda, what was that list of ingredients again? Baked beetles, a crystal dragon scale, a gold bowl, water of emerald, and a silver spoon. Got it? Yes, ma'am. So much trouble sleeping lately. Blotar snores like a dragon with heartburn. Well, let me tell you, Eggletine. I have the same problem with Hogarth. I just use wet sulfur. I put a lump of wet sulfur in the fireplace at night and it puts me right out. Why I sleep so soundly? Hogarth sometimes has to wake me with a flower under the nose. <laughs> a flower? Sleeping like a log if you needed a nasty, smelly flower to wake you up. Well, well, well. You learn something new every day. Excuse me, good ladies, but but would you happen to know anything about Melisha? Oh, look, Winnie! It's the king's new bride to be! Isn't she the cutest little thing? Oh my dear! You're the luckiest troll in the world! It's going to be the most beautiful wedding. And won't you be the most beautiful bride? Oh, I always cry at weddings. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Excuse me, ladies? What's that, Mama? Time for bed? Okay. Nighty night. <laughs> night, Mama. Good night, you big goon. That's way too hot to touch. Yuck! That's some nasty water. It's way too hot to touch.
Sleepy, I have something I'd like to give you. Oh, oh my, my, it's perfect. It's beautiful. How can I ever thank you? I'm forever in your debt. Oh, I'm going to throw out this horrible hammer and chisel and get the best set money can buy. If you don't want it, may I have it, Oppie? Of course, of course. Enjoy them, my dear. Thank you so much. Goodbye, Rosella. It's way too hot to touch. I got a little too close to the edge. Ugh, what's this? Green water? Excuse me, ladies? Oh, weddings always make me cry. <laughs> oh, 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 God. Oh, never mind.
Hello? Madam Dragon? Wake up! I don't think there are that... It's way too hot to touch. Night, Mama. Good night, you big goon. have everything, but I'm not really sure. No gold bowl, Missy, that was brass. The spell won't work unless the bowl is gold. That was a puzzle just for the sake of adding, <laughs> making the game longer? Or I wonder if I could have just picked up the gold one in the first place.
don't give me the rest of the ingredient. Just fine, just dandy. Yes! Yes! <laughs> Excellent! All right then, girlie, take a drink. Did it work? Well, not exactly, dear. Now, what did I do wrong? Aha! Uh -huh. I remember. We need a troll hair. Ow! There we go! Hmm, the silver spoon melted, and I thought Mother's tea was strong. I suppose I should keep it as a memento. My dear Princess Rosella, I'm stunned. Your beauty is only surpassed by your intelligence, and your courage, and your joie de vivre. I've had just about enough of you distracting the king, you little snip! Now look here, lady! No! Look here! Malisha! No! Just be patient, girl. I'll be in to take care of you before you know it. <laughs> That's what you think. Oh, that's odd. Where's that smoke coming from? Here. Come on, Rosella, think. Actually, with that said, I am going to pause for a moment and I will be back later. <laughs>